Hello, and welcome to the Classical Conversations YouTube channel. Today, we're going to show you how to play the game Trick or Truth, a logic group game for any number of players. To set up, you'll need to cut many slips of paper. Separate out one per player. Cut a few extra for later. Write truth on one and write trick on all the others. Put them into a hat and have everybody draw one and look at it. Next, you need to know what a syllogism is. A syllogism is a short, logical argument that contains three components, two premises and one conclusion. That means you have two statements, all dogs have four legs and Mr. Scruffy Pants is a dog, and a conclusion that follows from them logically. Mr. Scruffy Pants has four legs. When a syllogism is structured correctly and contains all true premises, the conclusion must also be true. We say that the syllogism is sound, but there are two reasons a syllogism can be unsound. First, a syllogism can contain untrue statements. If we said that all dogs are blue, and that Mr. Scruffy Pants is a dog, the structure of the syllogism would tell us that Mr. Scruffy Pants is blue. The syllogism is logically valid, but because it contains an untrue premise, its conclusion is also untrue, and the syllogism is unsound. On the other hand, true statements can be connected in the wrong way. If we said that all dogs had four legs and that Randall the pet chameleon has four legs, we'd be tempted to draw the conclusion that Randall is a dog. But not all creatures with four legs are dogs. The statements are true, but because a syllogism's structure is invalid, the syllogism is unsound. There are lots of ways a syllogism can be unsound, and you can learn more at the link in the description or in The Fallacy Detective, available in the Classical Conversations bookstore for just $22. But back to the game. If you drew trick, you're now going to write a syllogism that sounds true, but is actually false. If you drew truth, you're going to write a syllogism that sounds false, but is actually true. Put all the syllogisms into another hat and appoint a reader to read them out loud. Each player votes just once on which syllogism he or she thinks is the truth. All British people are tea drinkers. No tea drinkers are coffee drinkers. Therefore, no British people are coffee drinkers. All candies are sugary things. All sugary things are teeth rotters. Therefore, all candies are teeth rotters. All giraffes are brown animals. No brown animals have hooves. Therefore, no giraffes have hooves. If you're a trick, then you get a point for every player who thought your syllogism was true. And if you're the truth, you get two points if nobody voted for your syllogism. Playing this game at home or in your homeschool community will get your student listening for truth and validity in logical statements, whether in the game or in life. If you liked this game, here's a supply list and a playlist of other school games. We believe that every child is uniquely and wonderfully made and that parents can be their best teachers from birth through high school. If you want to know more about homeschooling, subscribe to our channel or go to our website to find information meetings and classical conversations communities near you.